Joining me now is Georgia Congressman Andrew Clyde, a member of the House Appropriations Committee and the Subcommittee on Commerce, Justice, and Science. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. And didn't uh, Congress just authorize more money for FEMA in the most recent continuing resolution? Well, good morning, Maria. Absolutely, Congress did. Uh, FEMA ended the year September 30th with $1.8 billion in their disaster recovery program, their natural disaster program. And Congress just appropriated another over $20 billion to FEMA. So FEMA has t over $22 billion available to them. So there's no way in the world that FEMA is running out of money here uh, in early October. So, so why did the head of the entire division, the, the, the secretary, of uh, Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, tell us just last week that FEMA was running out of money. Well, I think in my experience with uh, Secretary Mayorkas, uh, it's difficult to know when he's telling the truth and when he isn't. Um, but this particular individual just has never been forthright, I think, to the people or to Congress. Um, it's a scare tactic, in my opinion. You know, FEMA has enough money. Uh, what they don't have is enough solid, good leadership. Well, I, I also want to talk to you about this, uh, th th this worry that there, in fact, is intermingling with this money. I understand the Republicans are saying that these are two separate funds. But why did Corinne Jean-Pierre tell us two years ago that FEMA was going to be helping uh, and FEMA money was going to be helping illegal immigrants? Watch this. FEMA regional administrators have been meeting with city officials on site to coordinate to coordinate available federal uh, support from FEMA and other uh, federal agencies. Funding is also available through FEMA's emergency food and shelter program to eligible local governments and non-for-profit non organizations upon request uh, to support humanitarian relief for migrants. We'll continue to do what we can as a federal government to support uh, these cities as we rebuild our asylum processing system after it was gutted uh, by the Trump administration. So, Congressman, which is it? Did they use FEMA money to, to pay and care and house uh, illegal migrants? Oh, absolutely, they use FEMA money. You know, whether it's two different pots of money or not is irrelevant. That's I think what the Biden-Harris administration has done is they have twisted the mission of FEMA, and now they're using FEMA money to support illegal aliens coming into this country. That should never be the mission of FEMA. You know, they should be supporting Americans and those who are here legally when a disaster occurs, when a natural disaster occurs. So then why are the Republicans on the appropriations saying, no, they did not intermingle funds? Well, we just heard specific details from Corinne Jean-Pierre. You just confirmed they did use FEMA money for the illegal migrants, but they're saying they didn't. So are they lying? Well, I would tell you that the administration is going to tell you whatever the, whatever they want they think you want to hear at that particular time. But it's all FEMA money, and this program that they're using for the illegal aliens, this migrant shelter program, should never be part of FEMA. That is a twisting of FEMA's mission, in my opinion. And in our Republican appropriation for DHS, we actually stripped money from that account for FY25 the way it should be.